Good morning. It is Sunday, October 17th. Welcome back to the garden. I think this is going to be our final episode of apartment gardening. It's cooling off and we got to get these finalized so they can go inside. Now when you're selecting plants to overwinter inside, you got to know what the basic maintenance is going to be. A tomato is going to take a lot more care and a lot more room. Even while hardening in, we still have some spots we need to take care of that. That needs to be removed so it doesn't spread. Basil, see how nice this one's coming on? You can cook with this. You just pinch it off at the node and then it'll continue to bush out. You got a nice little chunk to cook with. Lettuces are really nice plants to grow inside. You can plant two or three different varieties in the same container and you just pinch the leaves off, add them to your salads. Makes for a really, really nice, easy plant inside. Now our sweet potatoes, that's gonna also take a little more care but you just keep trimming the vines back. I've already got a friend who's expecting these basils. I'm gonna put them both in the same container. Look at how nicely that's rooted already. Basils are another one of those plants that really don't mind being side by side with other plants. See how quickly that has rooted on in there? So we're gonna put our Thai basil. sweet basil side by side. Just add some more soil. Give that a little drink of water and it's ready for its new home. In the spirit of winter gardening and these two peppers have really tried to hold on Look at that, we've got some roots. Let's go ahead and put these in a pot and see if we might not be able to overwinter them. Just down in there. They may not be able to, they may not last, but they've held on, so I'm not giving up on them. They've got some pretty good little roots. Let's go ahead and see if we can't overwinter these. In the spirit of overwintering, we saved these two little peppers. We'll see what we get. I also had a friend that wanted to try to take on a sweet potato over the winter. So we'll see how that does. We went ahead and started these off in coffee cans. <laughs> That's the hard part about doing it in a coffee can. You got those edges. But see we already got the orange roots coming out. That's where the new sweet potatoes are going to come from. So I'm going to put this in a little bigger container. Give it a little drink and it'll be ready for its new home. I also want to see what's under this bale. <laughs> I found her sweet potato. <laughs> I found our purple sweet potato. It's the only root that went in under the bale. All right. I guess that's my reward for saving the little peppers. Now this one I'm keeping for myself and we're going to do a little experiment with it. We're going to go ahead and try to keep it going in the greenhouse over the winter. So I'm just putting it in a little bigger bucket. And see, it's already got its orange roots that are going to start making potatoes. Just snug that down in there. Now I'm putting this down in the bucket far enough. I'm going to go ahead and put heavy mulch on top of this to help insulate it, along with some mulch around the outside of it in the greenhouse. We'll follow this one throughout the winter and see what we get. Now here's the fun part. The look on someone's face when you present them a gift that they can keep in their window all winter long. And look at that, our basil has found a new home. And what a treat when you're cooking at home to walk up, snip off a piece of basil to add to your favorite dish. You can do this too. And that's what it's all about, sharing our love of gardening. We will be following the sweet potatoes in the greenhouse as it gets cold. So remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant.
Let's go plant garden.